Hey there, I'm Brandon. This is the Dirt Church Devotional. Coming to you today from uh, Patagonia, somewhere down in southern Arizona, doing some desert riding for a, a day and a half or so. Anyway, I want to talk to you this morning about, uh, I guess it's maybe not morning, it's afternoon, about a passage, a story that took place in uh, Mark chapter 4. I was, thought I was getting rabbit ears. Mark chapter 4. And Jesus turns to his disciples and he says, hey, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they jump into a boat and they get going. Now they get about, I don't know, halfway out there. They're out in the middle of the lake and this huge storm comes down and starts flooding the boat and rocking the boat. I mean, it's freaking them out. And it's got to be bad because there are like at least four professional fishermen make their living off this lake. And they are scared half to death. Now let me... Let me give you one point here. Number one, a lot of times when people start following Jesus, they think, I follow Jesus, it's going to be smooth sailing. Can I tell you, just the opposite might be true. It might be really rough sailing because you're following Jesus. He had a target on his back. You've got one on yours. Yeah, let's move on. The disciples freak out. They go and they wake Jesus up because he had fallen asleep in the, in the bow of the boat or the stern. Anyway, he had fallen asleep in the boat. They woke him up and said, hey, don't you care? We're going to drown. Ah. He got up. It says he rebuked the wind and the waves, told him to calm down, be quiet. And everything went still. I mean, just instantly still. And it freaked the disciples out. And then he turns to them and he says, why are you so afraid? Where's your faith? Now, here's another point. Jesus rebuked the storm. He did not rebuke the disciples. He challenged their faith and he questioned their fear. All right, he did not rebuke them. Big difference. Last point I want to make is this. And you'll have to go back in Mark chapter 4 and read it because we miss it a lot of times. There were other boats. Mark is real quick to let us know there were other boats on the lake with them. And can I tell you something? When Jesus calmed the storm for his boat, he calmed the storm for all the boats. Now, here's the reality. Oftentimes, we're quick to wake Jesus up, so to speak, when we got trouble, when we got things going on. But can I challenge you? Be quick to wake Jesus up for those that are trying to go the same direction as you. They're just not in the same boat with Jesus yet. They're trying to get where he is. They're trying to get where you are, but they're in a storm. Wake Jesus up for them. Go out of your way for them and let Jesus take care of it. All right, chew on that. We'll talk to you next time.